So the question is, how many were contemporary and for how long? Well, it's known as the 8th century BC. There are, about, there are up to four dynasties co-ruling. But at the same time, we don't know, because after the event, historical accuracy is questionable. And um, Sir G Alan Gardner, a well-respected Egyptian um, authority in Egyptian history, wrote, once wrote, what is proudly advertised in Egyptian history is merely a collection of rags and tatters. So it's not anything great. Emmanuel Velikovsky, a Jewish scholar, he wrote this book, Ages in Chaos. And he asked the question, what is the truth about 600 years of discrepancy between the histories of Israel and Egypt? What's the, difference? What's the, what's the reason for discrepancy between the Bible's history and Egyptian history? That's why we say we need to change it. We need to revise knowledge. We say let's revise it by 600 years. That would put the building of the pyramids 300 years after the flood, which accounts for the fact that they, the, the National Bank of Egypt is called Bank of Misra, which means that it's descendants of Mizraim, which is a descendant of Noah. Hmm. Now let's take another look at let's take a look at, look at a different dynasty. We go back 600 years, right? I said 600 years, right? Then if I go 600 years back. Comes to the 12th dynasty. The pyramids of the 12th dynasty were made of mud and straw bricks. Any, anything going on? And there, there's records of people that just disappear one day. They're building the pyramids. And it says the completion of the pyramids was not the reason that these people deserted the town. They don't know who they were because of the messed up chronology. And it says, according, in, in regards to their departure, they said that the departure was sudden and unpremeditated because they they left a bunch of stuff, like a lot of everyday stuff. And when they dug underneath the houses, they found many new inf born infants were found buried in the floors of the rooms. They found boxes of baby bones underneath the houses. Any complaints? So who are they? Who are they? According to the first I said the traditional chronology, we have no idea who these people are. No idea. But there's something, some other stuff that I'd like to share about the 12th dynasty. This is a record. This plague stalks through the land and blood is everywhere. Nay, but many <coughs> dead men are buried in the river. Nay, but the river is blood. Nay, but corn hath perished everywhere. The storehouse is bare. What does this sound like? Plagues. Who wrote that? It was, it was found on the papyrus in the 12th dynasty. Mm -hmm. okay? And they also found this rod that looks like a serpent. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this is the exact one, but Spirit of Prophecy states that the mag magician did not make, did not give life to the, the rods. It made it look like it was, it was alive. And they found this in the 12th dynasty. And I'm not saying that that was an identical one, but that was the kind of rods that they had. I mean, you can read, I'm not sure if you can read here, but it says, magician's rod. Mm -hmm. And also, this is amazing. So there was a king whose name was, yeah, Timaus. Under him, it came to pass, I know not how, that God was adverse to us. And there came, after a surprising manner, men of ignoble birth out of the eastern parts, and had boldness enough to make an expedition into our country, and with ease subdued it by force, yet without our hazarding a battle with them. So a group of people moved into Egypt, took over without a battle, without any resistance from the Egyptians. How is that possible? Does the Bible tell us of an experience that the Egyptian military has? That would that might hold them back from protecting their own country. The whole battle, the whole army getting destroyed. The, the entire army is at the bottom of the Red Sea. Hmm. The waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, even all the host of Pharaoh that went in after them to the sea. 
you remain not so much as one of them. All the evidence is there. The mud and brick, the empty bones, the entire military being wiped out. And just them just disappearing for no reason. And then the country at the, being at the brinks of starvation and destruction. The 12th dynasty ends in shambles. They don't know why. They, don't, they just, they just the entire dynasty is completely destroyed, just wiped out. They don't know what happened. All the evidence is there, but the timing is wrong. So the Israelites were indeed saved by a mighty hand. There's evidence for it. If we are to accept that Exodus was just a myth, we're not only discrediting the Bible, we're discrediting God of His power. Because the experience of the Exodus is an experience for us of being rescued from sin. If we are to deny the power of God in the past, that power that, that they experienced, if that was simply a myth, a story, a fable, then we have no hope of being rescued from our sins. But the Bible states that, you know, and, and even the rocks are crying out. The evidence is there. But it's up to us which, which, um, which side we take. I believe as, as Bible-believing Christians, Seventh-day Adventists, um, we are to adhere to revised chronology on the basis that it uplifts the Bible as, as, um, as trustworthy, as credible, but most of all, as, as the Word of God.